Hi, my name is Edson Yanaga, and I'm a developer relations engineer for Google Wallet. This year, the Google Wallet team is delighted about partnering with Global Citizen and the Flutter team in the Global Gamers Challenge. Google Wallet keeps everything protected in one place, so you can access essentials like your payment cards, loyalty cards, concert tickets, and more, no matter where you go. The Global Gamers Challenge is about building epic games with Flutter that empower players to take small actions for the environment that, when done collectively, lead to large impact. We, from the Google Wallet team, want to challenge you to think of innovative ways to digitize assets and add them to your users' Google Wallet, while empowering them to come together and take actions for their environments. Thanks to the generic passes features of the Google Wallet API, you're not constrained on what you can add to Google Wallet. As an example of the possibilities of generic passes, at Google I.O. last year, we partnered with the Flutter team and we created a set of collectible cards for the I.O. Flip game using generic passes. If you check our Ugo I.O. demo at the URL you see on the screen and answer the questions correctly, you'll be able to add Dash, Dino, Sparky, and other characters from the I.O. Flip game to your Google Wallet as collectible cards. Google Wallet is going to award prizes in two different categories best Google Wallet API integration, and best Google Wallet API integration with Japanese localization. In each category, prizes will be awarded for the best integration, for the runner-up, and for third place. The best integration will receive a $7,500 US dollars prize, with $5,000 for the runner-up, and $2,500 for third place. All winners will also receive an opportunity to have a virtual coffee with a Google Wallet team member and promotion of their project subject to Google's discretion. What are the criteria we'll be using to determine the best integrations? First, your submission must have a successful integration with the Google Wallet API, meaning that your users will need to be able to add your passes to their Google Wallet. Your passes can be assets like raffle tickets, collectible cards, collectible awards, or anything else you can create. Second, we'll be considering the social sharing features of the integration. If your application uses the Google Wallet API in ways that promote interactions between your users. Some examples could be collecting and sharing passes between your users, such as collectibles, or interacting with something in the real world, like a QR code, to be able to collect special passes in your Google Wallet. Third, We'll consider how innovative your usage of the Google Wallet API is. I just mentioned collectibles like collectible cards, but you can use your imagination to create digital versions of anything and make them available for your users to save in their Google Wallet. I hope that by now you're just as excited as I am about competing for the Google Wallet prize during the Global Gamers Challenge. To start learning about the Google Wallet API, check out our developer documentation available at developers.google.com slash wallet. If you'd like to see some code samples, check out our samples repository on GitHub. We'll also be running office hours for you to ask questions about the Google Wallet API. Please check the details at the contest site on devpost.com. You can also stay up to date with the latest and greatest Google Wallet developer resources by signing up for our newsletter at the URL you see on the screen or scan the QR code. And that's it. We can't wait to see what you're going to create in the Global Gamers Challenge with Flutter and the Google Wallet API.